The next talk is going to be from a uh, team partly in Israel, partly in the UK, partly in the USA. Hi. In the next five minutes, I'm going to talk about accessibility of open spaces for visually impaired pedestrians based on open street map data. This research is based on is based on previous project, previous work in which we develop an algorithm that find the optimal route for blind pedestrians for visually impaired pedestrian rather than the shortest one. But then we ask ourselves if this is enough to the vision of inclusive city, which means even if we know that some routes are more accessible than over the other, it doesn't say anything about the overall accessibility for the given uh, region. So for that, we develop a method methodology to try to give an answer for that question, how much an area or areas are accessible or less accessible. So here we have a qualitative information based on uh, interviews and uh, uh, interviews an observation conducted with visually impaired pedestrians and data from OpenStreetMap that can convert, that can help us to convert this uh, data, these insights into qualitative information. For example, way type tag in OpenStreetMap is very helpful when we try to, is very helpful uh, to trans to uh, uh, to learn how much a specific segment or specific street is accessible. In addition, many landmarks help to visually impair pedestrians to know where they are, where they are. So <clears throat> this landmark also mapped into OpenStreetMap. Finally, and complexity as well. And finally, the pedestrian activity, which is temporal phenomena. Uh, that means phenomena that change over time. <clears throat> so all of those criteria, criteria are criteria that visually impaired pedestrians use and can be interpreted from open from open statement data. So the general idea is to take the open statement data and convert it into a, a street, a walking street a graph. So each an edge in the graph is each edge in the graph uh, reflect a, sp a specific uh, street in reality. And then we examine each uh, segment based on those criteria. The, the first three are uh, based only on open street map data. The last one, the pedestrian activity, is also based on machine learning model, uh, which include many, many training data from different cities around the world. So <clears throat> in that part, each segment have uh, each segment has four values, of course, and we combine them by this equation into one value that shows how much this and how much a given street or segment is accessible. For the larger scale of area, we use either one of those uh, uh, indices that developed during this research. The first one is based only on the weight of the street. The second one in take into account also the, the centrality of the road, which means that uh, we expected that central road has more impact on the accessibility and the, and the total accessibility. And the last uh, method, which is uh, the ratio between the optional route to the shortest route. Uh, and in ideal situation, the, 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 this ratio should be one. And here are a few of the few of the our findings in this research, for example, on the, the uh, lead value on, on boroughs in Greater London. Central London seems more accessible than the suburb, and also uh, which one up on games, which is quite good and wealthy and happy uh, neighborhood and uh, borough in London, 
are considered less the least accessible uh, area in London or borough because of a lot of green spaces that are not accessible for blind or visually impaired persons.